This is Howell and Jamie. Hi. Please, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, Jamie, this is the last thing on your uh, on your go list to Vegas. We've been mentioning it, but she's actually here. We are in the presence. Of, are you officially royalty now? Yes, yeah, something like that. Okay, <laughs> official royalty, Samantha <laughs> Murray of Olympic silver medalist fame. Yes. And local girl as well. Where are you from? Clitheroe. Clitheroe. Um, it's such a I don't know what to say. It's such a pleasure to meet you. No, it's lovely to be here. Thanks for having me. I bet you can do like um, four times up and down the stairs without even losing your breath. Yeah, and I was going to make you do it after as well. Absolutely not. Oh, That's not fair. Howl. Not unless you call the ambulance first. <laughs> what work? Um, the reason Samantha is here is that she has uh, become our new patron for Cash for Kids. So thank you so thank much you. Thank you, yeah, for doing that. Honor. You know what that means? You have to teach me and Jamie how to shoot a pistol. Well, with my laser pistol, yeah. With your laser oh, pistol. And laser fencing pistol. as well. And fencing as well. Oh, I'd love uh, to do some fencing. Uh, yeah, you, you get to stab much? each other, it's great. Oh, oh we anywhere need Anywhere on the body, anywhere. <laughs> do, you, so, do you say touche every now and then? Touche. You can you know, whatever, you can if you want to. <laughs> Is that not a technical <laughs> line now? Not really, but... Oh, try it. Uh, Touche. Touche. Nice. You've grown up listening to Rock and Fair, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. Like being in colour or going to school in the morning. So, I mean, the old breakfast show was a long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, yeah. I was listening on the way in actually. So. Oh, were you? Oh, very good. Very How good. does a girl from Clear Road get into the pentathlon? Um, yeah, I've always wondered this. Why, what day do you wake up and go, you know what I want to do? I so want what, to. I'm really good at pistols, shooting, <laughs> fencing, swimming, <laughs> rope riding, and running. It's a funny one, but um, it's quite a normal route. I suppose I went to my local swimming club, Clitheroe Dolphins, and there they advertise biathlons, which is a grassroots scheme into pentathlon. It's where you do a swim and a run. Right. So I was about 11 years old, went running, really fell in love with it, found something that I felt I could really kind of express myself and find myself doing. Mm -hmm. um, and so from there I joined an athletics club, Blackburn mm -hmm. Harriers. My grandma has uh, stables in Longton, just outside of Preston. That's where I learned to ride growing up as a little girl. Right. So I was riding, running, swimming, and then... Someone said you could do all that. Yeah, yeah, there was like uh, <laughs> the shooting range next to the swimming pool. Right. And so on a Friday night before swimming, I used to go and do some shooting. No. Did triathlons, which is shooting, running, swimming, and then it was just fencing. Went to Colm to do that, actually. Really? Um, yeah, so I have a lot to thank to my parents for taking me all over the county. Yeah. But um, And then, kind of, because I loved it and I was doing competitions, I was taken on board to, like, a, a development scheme for young athletes who show a bit of potential in the sport. And from there, I competed for Great Britain, and then I was, you know, inspired and bitten by the bug to yeah. pursue pentathlon to an Olympic level, really. Brilliant. Was there, you know, as far as like, because uh, swimming and running, you could have done as a separate, just as a single event. Were you good enough to just do one of those? Separately? Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, swimming, no. I mean, I'm good at swimming. I'm actually one of the strongest swimmers in the world for pentathlon. Mm. Um, for running, I was good at running. I was like county champion. I went to English schools. I went to all the big um, cross country and track and field competitions. And it kind of got to a point, I remember being a teenager and thinking, oh, do I want to do running or do pentathlon? Because I loved pentathlon, I loved all the different elements. And um, I just kind of followed my heart and just went with it. Mm. Um, and I do look back and sometimes I think, you know, okay, if I was specific in one sport, then um, I might be a bit of a bigger name because, you know, if, if I'd maybe mm. won an Olympic medal in 1,500 metres, then it's the biggest sport, more people would know about it. But... I just do what makes me happy. Yeah, um, and yeah. if your same bolt gets uh, stuck in a sword fight, what, he's going to be useless. He'll be yeah. lost. Absolutely useless. Well, what, what, what I found really interesting was that the triathlon guy who won, Johnny Burster, Alistair Burster. Uh, no, that's the wrong name. It uh, is Jonathan Brownlow. Brownlee. 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 From Leeds, Brown, yeah. Right, he... And his brother... Uh, Johnny and Alistair Brownlee. Was yeah. it? Yeah. Gold and silver. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he, when he won the uh, triathlon, his 10k time wasn't that far off. Yeah, the they time are. Mo Farah yeah, got right. for they, the 10k. They are phenomenal runners, and they actually, because the families, they do all the 10k's in this area. They do the Ribble Valley 10k every year, mm. and they dominate. They are amazing. Yeah. Um, but obviously, they love triathlon, and so that's what they do. Yeah. And I'm the same. I, I love the elements of pentathlon. I love it when I tell people, especially guys. I can fence and I can use a sword yeah, and I can yeah, pay in my car, like, you know. You're like Lara Croft. 
That's Mrs. Wall. Laura, Laura you Croft are. Do. Laura Croft, and she hasn't got a silver stinking medal, has no. she? No. Huh? Sticking in those tombs. Yeah. Well, it's well, time well. to do it. Get your medal out. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Oh, oh, look, at oh, oh, oh. look at Look at that, that beast. Can I touch it? Yeah, of course you okay, can. Thank Don't you. drop it. It's oh. very thick, isn't it's it? It's really heavy. They, everyone says that, but it is. It's heavy. It's well, not we, really. I mean, it's not as heavy as a car, but it's heavier than you think. Let me feel the girth. Of there that. you go. Oh, hefty that, that isn't it? Is a beast, isn't it? That is a hefty. Ooh. Ooh. Stop! Yeah, stop yeah. putting it in your pocket. Come on, give it back. Ooh. There we go. There we go. That's amazing. So um, you were like the, one of the last people to be competing for for Britain, weren't you? Yeah, I mean, it's it is the last Olympic medal won by a British athlete because pentathlon was the last. Uh, competition in the Olympic Games. That's so cool because so you this is get it. This is the 65th glory. medal, yeah. 65th yeah. medal, the final. That's Look awesome. At that. It's really special because you know this is silver, and you've got the on this side you've got all the stuff about Greece and the Olympic Games coming from Athens and everything. Yeah. And then on the other side you've got the 2012 logo, and then all this stuff like the square and the lines. It all represents a load of different things like unity and bringing together Great Britain, all the different nations, all the regions of our country, and all the people. <sighs> and then it says there on the on like the side of this yeah. part. Oh, of yeah. Oh yeah. It says true? like silver women's modern pentathlon twenty twelve. And f for me, it's like a big quality street because <laughs> <laughs> purple ribbon and. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it does look it's, like a quality street, doesn't it? It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's my baby. Well, uh, I mean, and, and also because you were the last, you would have been the last option on the, on the BBC Red Button. Uh, gradually, as the sports ended, the interactive TV channels got smaller and smaller. Yeah. So And more people were watching because they wanted to get the last bit of the Olympics. Yeah. So basically, the whole country will have been watching you and not wandering off to watch the... Run and shoot with a pistol. Yeah, yeah. basically. Oh. Isn't that cool? It's it's amazing when you think how many people actually saw it because, mm -hmm. you know, I do this every day. This is my job, if you will. Yeah, so yeah. to think that the whole country saw me doing it at some point and have seen, you know, replays and seen it on the internet, it's just like wow. Well, you're and getting your getting your head in the in the right space for something like that must be a challenge. In fact, we'll talk about that next. One, one more thing though. Oh, as, a, as another career choice, once you've retired, yeah. you could be a stunt woman, couldn't you? Do you know what I thought? I thought about doing like a new darts and kind of going into pubs and getting people who play darts to like run and do some exercise mm. and then try and hit the board with a dart. Great That's idea. a great idea. Yeah. Great idea. It kind of spices up the pub see. line. Some that. people struggle with what they're going to do after such a big achievement, but you've got it nailed. Yeah, this is my, my future. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, right. How old are you? 23. 23? 23 with a silver gold medal. Wow, we've achieved There's nothing. No nothing a silver gaming. gold medal. A silver, a silver, and silver, silver gold, gold medal. medal. I'm sorry, a silver, a silver There should be gold. a silver gold. <laughs> they should. This is now a silver a silver gold medal. Great. Okay, because it was the last one won, so it's a special one. I think we've done nothing, have we? We've done nothing yeah. with our lives. 30. How old am I? I won the what? Sportsmanship Award Two. in uh, 1994. Oh, I think at, my, at Parklands High School. Congratulations. Because I wasn't good at sport, but I was very sporty. I handled defeat well. Oh, see. really? What you yeah. don't did you handle? Shake hands I did, I was sickly shaking. <laughs> <laughs> see, I always kicked the wall and then threw something at a window. I should have ah, been like that, yeah. Now, that's what I want to ask you about. So, you have to be a bit nuts to do what you do, I think. Do, yeah. And to be the best in something like that, I mean, you have to be uber competitive. You've got to be, do you know what you've got to have? A lot of bottle. Yeah. You've got to think, I get on an unknown horse when I do the pentathlon. Because oh yeah, of course. Yeah, you have to dish them out, don't they? Yeah. yeah. And so you get on, and you think, right, I don't know this animal, but I've got to get it over 12 jumps. And when you've got 25,000 people in the stadium, your grandma who taught you how to ride, your uncle who taught you how to ride, and you know that they're biting the nails and like yeah, yeah. screaming at you silently and to do that. And millions well. watching And it people on. watching on TV, you think, oh my God. But then you just, back, you just get on with it and you just mm. do it. And that's what you've got to have. You've got to have that kind of Go, get it done, and it'll all be over soon, and everything will be okay. As you know, today is the day. This is our last show here before we go to Las Vegas. Lionel Glitzy is going to try and take over Vegas. Now, mm -hmm. Jamie is Lionel Glitzy. I am. Uh, say hello as Lionel Glitzy. Ow. That's, that's my calling sign. Jamie is uh, he's genuinely terrified about one of the things that the listeners have asked him to do, and it's to jump off the top of a building. I have some advice for him. Okay. Really? All right. I've just been to Italy. And yeah. I was a bit bored because like, there's only so much sunbathing that you can do. And I went to Capri, and it's an island. Um, recommended to everyone. Mm. 
and I went rock jumping. So go on the side of the rock of the island and jump in the sea. And I think maximum I did 15 metres. And I'm not kidding you. It's really scary. Oh. I don't know how... how He's to, doing how eight, 800 feet. 800 feet. Right, oh. okay. Well... <laughs> Hang on, you're the Olympic. That was like feeling like I was jumping off Blackpool Tower. So prepare yourself. But literally, think about what you've got to do. Get all the instructions. Go. Don't hesitate. Just jump. Because if you hesitate, you'll chicken out. Honestly. Really? Yeah. You just got to do it straight away. Can I recommend something? Just before you do that, just make sure they have tied you on first. Yeah, yeah. I can't, yeah. Because <laughs> Jamie, is, Jamie's quite simple with instructions. You might just get off the lift and, you know, that'll be the end of it. But, but yeah, once they've given you the instructions and tied you on, okay. don't think, just do. And probably make sure you've got a belt on your jeans or something. Belt, because they could. You wrap some. Yeah, because they're tying. They're tying it to my pants, won't they? Well, I'm gonna. I don't want to die in my boxers on the floor in Las Vegas. <laughs> what a way to go, though. Oh, you know, what a eulogy well, that'll I'll make be. Make sure I've got my name on my boxer shorts. Wearing an Afro wig as Lionel Glitzy, he died on the floor of Las Vegas oh. in his boxers. Um, thank you, though you've inspired. Yeah, some thank kind you, of Samantha, and thank focus. you most of all uh, to the sausage shop in uh, Clitheroe. Oh yeah, Calman's. Calman's sausage shop, who named a sausage after you. Yes, yeah, and sausage. so officially now, I think I think I've had it confirmed that uh, on all the documents for Cash for Kids, the patron is going to be called uh, Sammy Sausage. So, yeah, you're right with that. Excellent. Um, yes. Sam, will you hang around? We do a quiz at the end of the show, okay. and it'd be amazing to do a quiz with you. Will you do one with us? Yeah, please? I'm good at quizzes, I like them. And you're competitive, so you yeah. promise not to kick a wall if you lose. I'm going to get my medal, last to it, and hit you around the head. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. Through the door on your left is about to enter the man that is about to step on a plane to Las Vegas. Okay. Um, I'd like to hear your first reaction before we do a quiz with him. Uh, please welcome Mr. Lionel Glitzy to the studio. Lionel! Hello! Wow. Is it me you're looking for? Oh my goodness, I'm so yeah. Oh, how? Good evening, Jamie. All right. So All right. How are you? I mean, Lionel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you Sam. Well yeah, done. Back off now, Glitzy. Yeah, don't drop it. Okay, okay, Glitzy never drops. Glitzy's wearing the silver medal, everybody. Glitzy wearing the silver medal. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, check that. I'll do a, I'll do a bolt as well. This is appropriate. <laughs> Do you want a picture with Samantha as well? Or yeah. you just, uh, just basically yeah, Sam, standing in front like to, uh, of the medal winner. Uh, yeah, go for right. the picture. Stand yeah, up. Here have we it. go. Glitzy loves Olympians. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. What yes. a picture. Did you ever think you'd see Well, I'll take it off. Um, there you go. I'm going to be a cowboy in Vegas as well. I'm going to cowboy. Are. Can you give me some horse and shooting tips? <laughs> um, how... Do you have strong legs? Yes. Oh, good. Great but thighs. Glitzy's got great thighs. That's that's really good. Yeah. Really grip with your thigh. Grip the thighs. Thighs, thighs on the horse. Because yeah. these these horses are going to be doing a lot of bucking and stuff. So you want to be careful. Bucking? Bucking. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Glitzy don't like no bucking. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, sit up tall. Tall. Uh, stay strong, you know, breathe, remember to breathe. All breathe. Have to forget just when imagine what the reality stuff. of this will sound like. But um, carry so on. Strong legs, <laughs> grip, like, like you're squeezing a like, sponge with your legs. Squeezing. You can do it around the chair now if you grip. Squeeze the horse. Yeah. Uh, oh, I can squeeze the horse. And then, um, <laughs> sit up tall, chest out, shoulders yeah. back. Yeah. And then with your reins, you'll actually hold, as a cowboy, you'll hold your reins a little bit differently to how I do. You'll probably have one hand, probably, you know, yeah. that kind of style. This hand can you can yeah you wave hand, about yeah, like. yeah. take my top off. <laughs> yeah. well, I've got the gun in the other hand. Yeah, this is cool. So yeah, just mm. relax and breathe. You okay. Go with the movement of the horse, I'd say. Samantha, right. thank you. Thank you. We are going right now to Las Vegas good luck, and. Guys. Thank you very much, um, and uh, good luck at Rio and Thank everything you. in between. Yeah, I'll see you in four years. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we won't. We'll see you sooner because yes. you're our new patron of Cash for Kids, which does amazing work. And yeah. having someone like you at the top of it means it can do even better work. So thank oh. you so much.